Hey, welcome to the Veg Cookbook. Today we're baking a classic, but without the eggs. Uh, no one can tell the difference if you look at the cookies and if you tasted it. These are warm, chewy, wonderfully delicious. So let's get right to the recipe. So for the dry ingredients, I have three cups of all-purpose flour, um, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, four teaspoons of cornstarch. This just makes it a little bit extra chewy. So in a large bowl, I have my um, all-purpose flour, three cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, and four teaspoons of cornstarch. Give everything a good mix. And now on to our wet ingredients. For our wet ingredients, we need an uh, egg replacer to substitute two large eggs. Um, so I'm using the Energy brand of egg replacer. This is what I generally use. Um, if you have any other egg replacer, uh, that works just fine. Um, that uh, brand calls for three uh, tablespoons of the egg replacer powder mixed together with four tablespoons of warm water. So I'm just going to mix everything together. One cup, that's two sticks of butter. And I've left, and I've left this at room temperature for about two to three hours, so it's soft to the touch, but not melted. Uh, one cup of light brown sugar. Two thirds of a cup of granulated white sugar. Three teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. I'm heating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm lining a baking sheet with parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, just leave it out. It just makes it easier to take the cookies out. So in a, in a medium bowl, I have the egg replacer for, to replace two large eggs here. Um, if you don't have a specific brand of egg replacer, you can use, um, you know, for one, uh, for one egg, you can use one tablespoon of flaxseed powder mixed together with three tablespoons of warm water. Um, so you can substitute the egg replacer that way. And then to the egg replacer, I'm going to add, add one cup of softened butter, one cup of light brown sugar, two thirds of a cup of granulated white sugar, and I'm just going to mix everything together. So mix the wet ingredients together until everything is well mixed in. And then add the dry ingredients. And mix everything together. Fold in the two cups of chocolate chips. So once all of the chocolate chips are folded in, I'm gonna take my baking sheet and I'm just gonna use my hands here and take out little dollops Roll them into sort of a ball and put them on the baking sheet. And I'll do this until everything is done. Once the dough is on the baking sheet, I'm going to put them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Everyone's oven is, is different, so you want to keep an eye out. Cookies will look sort of undone when in the oven, but when you put them out to cool, they'll be, they'll crisp up a little bit. So I'll show you what it looks like when they're done. These have just come out of the oven after 13 minutes. Um, and you want them to be slightly brown, but not too brown. Let them cool on a wire rack for about 10 minutes or so. What do you think? These Lucy? are super good. By the way, if you don't know, this is my bestest friend from first grade. These are how they've turned out. I made these yesterday. They are nice and crisp on the outside. When you break them, it's nice and chewy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Say a little prayer and share the love. See you next time.